This is Adam B. Hello, it's me. I'm going to be taking apart a G4 iMac today. I've done... Uh, this will make uh, four four machines in two days, five machines. I've lost count. Go go look at Alfred's stuff and you'll see how many I did yesterday. But then again, for all I know, I'll post this before he does. Um, this is done on an eyesight. I don't know how good it's going to look. Okay, what we have here is a... Well, it's a 17-inch uh, G4 iMac. This camera normally sits on top of it. Belongs to my stepfather. And what we've got is a very slow Leopard install. The machine only has 768 megs of RAM. The original 256 and a 512 that we added a little time after he got it. That's the easy one to get to. That's the so dim. That's right inside the base plate. What we have here is a full-size dim that's going to go inside. So I got to take off the base plate and then I got to take off the um, I don't know what it's called. I've got a uh, uh, diagram on how to get the thing apart, but I don't really, really remember what it's called, nor do I care. So I'm just gonna take off the base plate and take off some more screws until the thing falls open and put this in and take the other one out. Okay, here's, here's the bottom of the thing. Um, I'm not using my power screwdriver today, sorry. And they're captured, so I can't even lose them, even if I wanted to. Okay, there's the SODIM we put in a, a long time ago. That's where an airport card would go. They're long. And gravity affects them. Okay, four screws out. The entire base of the iMac now comes loose. I've got to be careful because stuff is still connected on the inside. I can see the memory right. It's right up here. And there's a lot of dust in here. Let's have a look inside. There's some dust that uh, used to belong to the dog, and there's some dust that probably came off of me, and there's some, there's some more dust, and there's some dust that's uh, on the RAM, and uh, there's Marvin, whose computer this is. Say hello to YouTube. Hi, YouTube. And, um, well, while I'm here, I'm just going gonna, gonna to take the RAM off. We are not going to use the compressed air, because the compressed air will just blow the dust everywhere. So once again, you're going to get to watch me pop out a dim. Pop. Pop. Extract. I got it. And there it is, the original 256, the PC2700 that came with this thing. Maybe we can find something to do with it. Hey, anybody want to buy a dim? Email. Comment below. I'm pointing. I'm pointing where you can't see. Just comment below or send me a message or whatever. This is 256. No chips on the back. One gigabyte. Chips on both sides. Since it's got chips on both sides, they're twice as dense. Eight instead of um, 16 instead of eight gigabyte instead of 256. Sides. I'll fix all this in editing. Is this the right? Come on. There you go. Click and click. All right. It's in. It's good. Um, I'm going to take out a little more dust. And then I'm going to show you one thing that I don't like about this model. And it's the only Mac that has this. It's really annoying. Really annoying. And you know, you have to delve into the other world in order to know how to deal with it. I'll show you in a second. There, I believe, is the processor under that big black heat sink. Now, if you follow stuff around, it might be on the other side, I'm not sure. But you follow stuff around and you'll find this bar, this, this, this series of metal bars. 
And what that is, that's a heat sink. That's supposed to move heat from down here, you know, by conduction, across from here to here. And that brings it up to the fan, which is under the under the neck of the thing, and that takes it off into um, you know off into the room, so that um, you know it doesn't overheat. The thing is, now that I've made, broken the connection between this side and this side, I have to apply some of this stuff, some of this stuff, which I'm lucky I have because I built a PC like four years ago. You know, there's, there's this silver compound, this heat sink compound. I shouldn't have to use this. This is the only Mac on that you ever have to use this stuff on. Let's see if I do this right. Just a little bit here. And then I drop the rest inside. Now what that, that's a, a heat conducting, conducting compound so that uh, the thing doesn't overheat and die, hopefully. One never knows. And now time to close it up. And now we just play the tape backwards so you can watch me putting the screws in. I do have to say, after being in so many different machines in the past two days, two laptops, a mini, and now this, this is getting disgustingly easy. I should have brought the electric screwdriver. My thumbs are getting tired. Okay. General. General. Bought this at Home Depot. Don't. Husky. Bought this at Home Depot a while back. Get this instead. They didn't have any huskies when I went looking for the regular tips yesterday. Plug in just power. And the keyboard. Let's see what happens. Always a good sign to hear that sound after putting in memory. What you don't want to hear is doo -doo -doo -doo, or <laughs> there's the apple. Here, here comes the desktop. And there we go. For RAM. This thing should actually run decent now. All right, I'm sorry this one went so uneventfully. I may actually be doing this stuff right now. All right, well, that's enough for me. I'll edit this down to like four and a half hours and see if anyone watches. Later. Bye.